up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fix it presents Legendary Gaming. Welcome back to another Tabletop Takeout Tuesday, my friends, and this week I've got yet another game that I want to tell you some bullet points of why I like it, why I love when it hits the table, and what I think you might also enjoy about it. I'm not here to influence you, please. I'm just here to inform you, and then you get to go figure out whatever it is that you need to figure out with the information that you have. But please, join me in this, this narrative as I lead you through this game. The Phantom, the card game, based on one of the oldest superhero IPs that have been around. Wow, I think he might be the third? I think. <laughs> All right, well, join me down the table, and we are going to talk about why I've been enjoying this game about The Phantom. The Phantom the Card Game by Games by Like. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> so I, right off the bat, I gotta say this is a solo game. It can be played two players as well, but t to me, at its heart, it really does feel like a solo game. And that is great. We, we have been in need of some more solo games this last uh, two years or so, haven't we? But this one actually does deliver. I've never once played this game and felt like I was just playing a game. It's always felt like it's taken me somewhere. And with the two-player option, it gets even deeper. And both characters that are available to play in this game are great characters. And there's enough difference between them that you, you can actually feel uh, that when you're soloing anyway, that it's almost a completely different game between one and the other. Now, speaking of this, uh, let's delve into replayability. I feel that this game has, at first glance, not that great a replayability. However, that is just a first glance. At its heart, at its core, there's a lot more replayability in this game, especially when you start considering the fact that you can unlock achievements in this game. You can be playing for certain goals that you're going to need to get. And that itself is adding on to the replayability. The other factor is that this game is a modular game. This is made with add-ons in mind. Now the base game itself comes with three really cool adventures to start you off with. And they, they do a great job of telling the origin story of uh, Phantom, of Diane, and even of Devil. So you have the three real core characters, sort of the soul of the story, right there in their origins. And then with the first expansion already out, Terra and Matawan, Ma Matawa, <laughs> it's adding on and, and building the story up now. And I, I like that because it also feels like you are part of this ongoing and growing adventure. So replayability is is right there in the in the ever-growing story now although I, I have a few in my collection and and i am a casual fan of uh i have to point out that this is a deck construction game however it's really kind of light uh compared to a true uh, uh deck construction deck building game but there is enough of it here to, to help you understand that this is a growing game. It's not a legacy game, but it does grow uh, through this because you will from one adventure to another when you're playing it in a campaign style, there's things that you're gonna get added on, skills, acquaintances, uh, animals that are gonna come and help you. Uh, so you do grow in a sense uh, because of this. This campaign style game, it isn't a hardcore, style campaign uh you can play any of the 
decks, any of the module decks, really in, in any order, I guess. But when you do, when you do play it straight through, there's sort of a, an experience that comes along with the advancement of the story and with the advancement of your character. And this adds into the deck construction aspect because you are going to be getting things added to your deck uh, because you've done this, that, or the other thing. It remembers, it grows with you. Now, if you take a look at this artwork uh, that I've been showcasing for the game, you are going to see already what I'm going to tell you. And that is, this does a fantastically great job of pulling from the original material and paying homage to it with this beautiful artistic style that rips completely from the original comic strip. Uh, it, it, it does the job to pull you in to the story by being such a, a, a great look, such a originalness uh, of the, I mean, the originalness of the of the, the Phantom artwork to be uh, kind of pulled and, and used as, like I said, as an homage. And uh, really did the job for me uh, because it helped me feel like I was part of the story even more so. It was one of the things that added into that experience. Now, I found the rule book uh, uh, just a tad a little difficult to get through with. Though. Overall, I gotta say that the, the rules are not are not hard to understand once you get through them. Possibly just a little tweak on the editing of the rule book, I guess. But uh, honestly, once I got through the rules and I had a basic understanding of them, they, they do flow rather organically. And that helps you get through the game because now the rules are making sense to you and you're kind of figuring them out as you're going along because they make sense. Now, the, the, the gameplay, what I like about this is that it is a fun mix. That it, it, it has this balance that it's working out between, you know, a little bit of luck, a whole lot of planning and strategy, and a, enough, a dash of, of storytelling almost like a, a, a an endless quest book or choose your own adventure style game but not overbearingly so just just enough and combine that together it really made to a fun game that plays very similar to several other games that i know and i'm sure you might know also but it pulls it all together in a unique sort of package for the fans of the card game I'm loving what I'm playing so far, uh, uh, the expansion, I got a chance to do a review for it, so I got an advanced copy of the deck before it made its Kickstarter, uh, and uh, I've been enjoying it, I, I really like it, and I'm looking forward, it's making me look forward to even more of these modular decks uh, to plug in and have some more great tabletop adventures in the world of the Phantom. So, there's a whole bunch of information about why I enjoy it, what I think about the game, and hopefully that will get you interested in learning more about it. If you're a fan of The Phantom, I think this game is a no-brainer for you to have. Uh, you would want this in your collection with your other Phantom stuff. And if you're, if you're a hardcore gamer, then I think this might be a fun game to add to your collection. You may enjoy the, the way the rules mix things up a little bit, uh, yet all feels very familiar to you. If you're a casual gamer, you're probably going to enjoy playing this game. Uh, beyond that, I really don't know. But it is a it is a fun two-player cooperative or solo game. So please, get some more information, look some more up about The Phantom, the card game. Tabletop Takeout Tuesday! Welcome back, my friends, to our weekly installment where I get to tell you bullet points why I like and love a particular title. And this week, I, I feel like I should have done this weeks ago. I really do. I don't know. It's just life happens, you know? But this has been a really fun game. I've been enjoying the ride that I've been taking on this so much, I really knew that I needed to give this game great big Tuesday shout out like this. 
because this is the kind of game that, uh, what the hell am I doing? What the hell is this? I don't even know what the connecting points I'm going to make here next door. Okay, let's go back to scratch. <laughs> Ready.